Hey guys, you're watching Explore the Weird. We're doing something different today. I know, I keep putting out so many videos. I can't keep uh, doing the same topics. Gotta keep changing it up. So are you ready for the change? We're doing For You page content. Not creepy, weird. Literally my For You page. It's always random. It's always random. None of this has been uh, pre-seen. This is all authentic reactions. If you're into goon energy, goon vibes, high energy, high vibes, then you are a goon. Welcome back. Nice to see you. But if you're not into it yet, you're about to be. This is a whole different channel. You may be watching other reaction channels, barely adding anything to the content, just cycling through, say one or two words. This is much different. I react. I talk a lot. Look at this intro. Can't you tell? We're going to get right into it. Uh, more, more, more things to come. But the main thing is right now for you page content. You know I had to do this video, right? I know you're not going to like it. But you all had comments about how metal detectors don't detect vapes because they're plastic, they're throwaways. But I'm actually going to show you what's inside a vape and why that works. And I brought my partner with me to help me out. All right, so my partner, Darren here, he's been with me for about eight years. And we're going to go through this really quick. These are your typical throwaway vapes, um, non-rechargeable, right? kind of like this one is rechargeable. Uh, inside every vape is a battery, right? It has to heat the element, which is this. So last time I checked, a battery was metal. So the fluid, nope, no metal in the fluid. That's good, it's not gonna hurt your lungs. Battery goes off. Every single one of these. So now you know that regardless, every vape has to have a battery, has to have an eating element. So in New York, it is not a criminal matter if you are caught with a vape, right? We do not arrest kids for vapes. It's a school violation. I have nothing to do with it. But what I really do care about is these things here, right? These are your dab pens, right? THC. The reason why I care so much about it is in New York, we're starting to get kids to overdose on dab pens because now they are putting fentanyl in them. So you might say, oh, stop, you know, let them go, let them be, let them do what they want, but... My job is to protect life and property. And these things here, they're no good. Yo, what the heck? They're putting fentanyl in the dab pens? Yo, I've seen, uh, back in the day, I used to do the vaping thing, but not anymore. You know, now I'm just doing the like button. It's a great thing. <laughs> just keep eating the like button. Don't worry about anything else. Your Crohn's is going away, Teddy. Okay, sounds good. Um, yes, this is a true uh, epidemic. Kids are vaping. We can't stop the kids from vaping. What were you doing when you were a kid, Teddy? Back in my day, we were rolling up the bones. Rolling up the bones? Is that what they called them? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, uh, technology advancing. Kids are advancing. They got ways to hide them. I mean, this. look at how many things this guy has confiscated. You think all of those came from the metal detector? No. No. Some of them, they, he caught the kids outright. He's like, yo, what are you guys doing? Uh, yeah, the dare. I love the dare thing. I also have a have a doll collection that I keep telling the goons about, but they don't believe me. Remember that Annabelle doll? This is not haunted. This is a true Annabelle doll from the movie Annabelle. I love the movie. I bought the doll. It's not haunted, but it is based off of a haunted movie. Um, I'm putting the doll away. Kyra doesn't even know the doll's like creepy. She thinks it's a regular doll. It's the craziest thing. Sorry, ADHD. We're going to keep it going. That was only the first video. Oh, my God. I'm about to act a fool. I say tree, you better catch the wall. You gotta make that, make that path from Mr. Weatherall. You gotta make that, make that path, make that, make that path, make, make, make that, make that path, make that path from Mr. Weatherall. I'm about to act a fool. I say tree. I have, I have no idea why, why shouldn't you be, shouldn't you be learning something? Isn't there something to learn in here? What is happening right now? What is happening right now? Oh my god, this is crazy. This is literally crazy. I uh, did not know this was a thing um, happening in schools. Like, we're worried about the vapes. Right, stop stop these people. Teach them. Teach them stuff. Oh wait, the school system is flawed against them. They're probably not learning anything if we're trying to teach them. They're like, yes, you're learning, but they really aren't. They really aren't. You're going to be a worker bee and everything's going to be the same. Well, actually, keep doing the TikToks. Maybe you'll make it. Maybe you'll make it. Everything's fine. We're going to keep it going. <laughs> How many times 
times can one eat crap in a day? Come on. I first want to try to just like dive roll over. Oh. <laughs> Give up. I'm closing my channel, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Are you kidding me right now? You're freaking insane. You are freaking correct. Oh my That's god. Fun. I've never done that one before. Yeah, I had a feeling that she could uh, reach it no problem, but um, definitely uh, interesting video here. Uh, the girl uh, ate a lot of uh, floor mat, I guess. This is the floor mat. Yeah, she ate the floor mat. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. At least in the end, she got it. Hopefully, uh, the gymnastics is going well. I did gymnastics when I was young, but I don't know if I was able to do this. Probably not. I was more of a bars and rings kind of guy. Bars and rings. All right, we're going to keep it going. <laughs> uh, I understood what was going on there. It never ends. It never ends. This is constant. This is constant. Why are you doing this to your significant other? What is the weird pleasure out of this? Do you know, oh, we get to clean it up together, Teddy. I mean, I guess, yeah, you're doing stuff together. Um, It looks like the guy's winning over the girl, but at the same time, you're like causing a mess and making more work for yourself. But hey, if it's paying for the thing and you're getting the views, that's all that matters. The views, you keep watching, Teddy. All right. All right, and you keep watching me. Are you having fun yet? This is only like the third video. We're gonna keep it going. My daughter called me this morning and she was just saying over and over again, Dad, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dad, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But you see, this is as bad, as bad as this looks, as bad as this is, I want you to see something. You've got to see this. Open the door, Kenzie. This is my daughter. She was in this car. My God is an amazing God. She's got a little bit of scratches on her hands, a little bit of scratches on her feet. And that's all. I serve an amazing God. If you don't believe in him this morning, you can look at this. That guardrail is on the driver's side. She crawled out the back window. And she was in the road when I got here. My God is amazing. He is amazing. My daughter called. I'm glad. I'm glad this guy was able to... Uh... You know, um, basically do uh, the thing. I, I don't even know what it's called. At this point, he, he believed in the uh, uh, thing, in his religion. And he's, uh, uh, you know, claiming that because his daughter survived, it was thanks to the religion. And very well, maybe there could have been multiple things that could have caused your daughter to survive. But, you know, I'm so glad that she did. And the main thing is cars are getting better and better. There is less and less 
uh, fatal accidents in cars. I know this looks bad, but I'm telling you, the car uh, technology, technology, safety, transportation safety is getting better. Transportation safety is getting better. Love to see that more people are surviving these types of uh, impacts. Um, definitely seems like uh, there could have been some um, higher beings that intervened in this crash, it, you know, especially with the guide rail going through the driver's seat like that. But I everything's okay. We're, at least everyone's fine. We're going to keep it going. Hey, I think I'm like $5 short. Is that okay? Just this once. I promise, just this once. I can get you back. Don't worry. When are you going to let me take you out? Maybe another day. I gotta go. Can I buy you a drink? Okay, yeah. I'll take a shot. Hey, what's up? Someone's looking good and smelling good. Thanks. Uh, I got. I gotta go. Why is this guy following me? Hey, stay on the phone with me. This creepy guy is following me. Thanks for meeting me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you stay, I'll give you this. But I have money. No, just give it to me. Here's the money. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Are you serious right now? You need this more than I need that money. At least I got it. Dang, girl, you look good. I have not uh, heard of this, I guess. Uh, this is interesting. <laughs> What the heck is going on here? So she's a pretty addict and people are after her because she's pretty. This is like, you know, I, I hear the story about this all the time. Oh, Eddie, there's all these pretty girls. They have so much tough time out there. Buddies, you're putting yourself in the situation. You're putting yourself in the situation. In order to get your fix, you're going to see the person. If you're truly uh, afraid of him, why are you still going? You know, ah, there's so many things. At least she's recovered. At least things are better. But if this is you and you're going to meet up with creepy, stop it. Stop it. Just stop doing the thing. How long is this sustainable? You're going to do this till the what? You're, you're forever? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not possible. This is not a real thing. Find help. Find help if this is something you're going through. Girls never tell guys. One, sometimes when we pee, we get more than one pee stream. Just like you. Two. Randomly you're just sitting there and a bunch of pussy juice decides to come out for no reason and it feels like you pissed yourself but you just gotta act like nothing happened. 3. Our favorite bra doesn't get washed as much. 4. When we are on our period we can feel when a clot of blood comes out but we don't randomly tell you guys because it might ruin the current conversation. 5. My wife confirmed a post I saw a while back on Reddit that I never knew. Apparently when a girl farts sometimes the fart rolls into their vagina instead of backwards. You'll never be the same now. 6. Hormones not only mess with us during our period, but they mess us up the week before too. Premenstrual hormones, for me anyway, almost affect me more than the hormones during the cycle. 7. How painful taking out a dry tampon is. Feels like your insides are being scraped out. 8. When I wear my hair in certain ways it means love not gotten the chance to wash it in a while. 9. Specifically what was discussed in the bathroom. 10. We remove hair a lot more than just our legs, bikini, I know armpits. It differs for us all. Stomachs, sideburns, upper lip, chin nose, nipples, chest, feet, toes, arms. Pretty much anywhere men grow hair. We got it. Always great when it's just peach fuzz, but not always the case. 11. When our period is over, if they found out that I'm on my period yesterday I'm not telling them it's over today, I can use it as an excuse for not going out or exiting bed. 12. Your looks are almost never the problem when we don't want to go further with you. What do girls never Wow. Wow. There's a, a lot of information to take in there. I believe every single one. Um, let me know if any of them aren't true, I guess. Uh, we're going to keep it going. Not much I can say. I'm going to have to take their word for it. We're going to do this the hard way. We're not doing shit the hard way. We are. I just need my shoes. Ma'am, I'm, I'm going to give you three seconds to walk up here and get checked out by these guys, or we're just going to do it the hard way. Let's go. Come on. So you know what? There we go. That's fine. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Get off me. Do not touch me. Ma'am, you don't want to do this. No, not, this. Not this way. Sir. Not this way. Come on. Come on, man. Anyway, sir, sir, do not touch me. Let's go. 
I will put my hand off as long as you start cooperating and walk I'm, up here. I'm just trying to Come find on. the piece that is missing, so. The Can deputy right here me? has your phone. No, Let's go. Does not. Come on. She does. Who? The deputy right I in front of you. Phone. Let's go. Give me my phone. I would not Sit down. just put in your hands on me. Let's go. Give me my Come phone. Come on. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Ma'am, we do don't. Do you understand? We don't do want to do not touch me. Then sit down. No. Sit down. I, I do, I'm, I'm afraid right now. And I'm not feeling safe. That, I'm not feeling safe. Okay. Sit down. All we're asking Just you to do is have a seat. That's it. And I need my phone to do that. So we can make Get me sure. my phone. And Sit I down and you'll get your phone. No. Give me my Sit phone. Sit down and we'll work you with you. I have the right to uphold my property. Ma'am. There's no reason for all this. Just sit down. You know what? There's no reason for you to hold my phone either. I've been as calm as I can possibly be. You know what? Let's go. Sit down. Stanford? Yes. I will give you everything you need to do to complain. Just sit down. I need my phone. Sit down. I need my phone. If I give it to you, will you sit yes, down? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And I do not want to be restrained. Careful, careful, careful. I just want to make sure you don't fall. Can you scoot back here? Back, no. Back this way. No. Check me out right where I'm in. Well, you're going to tip the stretcher over you, sitting on the edge of it like that. That's got, what happens when you got a fat ass, huh? You got to slide back. No. I don't feel safe. <sighs> Ma'am, everybody here is trying to help you. You're, you're making this difficult no, 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 for yourself. I don't know that. Do you want to stand back up and sit down on the sides? So that way you can sit down further to where that rest is that's resting up. You know what like, I mean? Like, like, like here. Just stand up for me. Can you be a little more cooperative with me and kind of explain to me what's going on? Uh, Danielle is driving. Yeah. And uh, she was in a little house together. A little. We left a party. And uh, I tried to explain to her that we should wait before we drive, but she wanted to leave. Okay. So she was in a little house together. Okay. And uh, as she was driving, obviously she was not able to drive. Where so were you coming from? We were coming from Ohio Swings. There is a lot uh, to unpack here. The lady, you know, had certain demands and she's going through the thing. She's under the influence. So you can only assume what's going on in her head. It, she feels so rational in her timeline. Everyone else is being crazy. And, you know, it is so it is so sad because if we don't get people off the road or that have potentially causing harm to themselves or others, you know, that's what these rescuers feel like they're doing. But at the same time, the lady in her timeline is like, nah, everything's fine. Just give me my phone. I'm going to sit down. I got a big thing. That's why. <laughs> That's what you got to deal with it. I'm like, all right. Oh, boy. It sounds like everyone in the end uh, got the help that they needed. It did seem a little painful there. At first, I thought she wasn't wearing anything the way that they censored the thing. And then I'm like, no, she was wearing clothes. Everything's fine. Um, yeah, it sounds like uh, got the help that uh, they needed to get her, hopefully. And if she didn't need help, Hopefully she stops drinking and uh, looks back at this uh, thing. All right, let's uh, keep it going. Wait, I don't understand what happened. They went out before the flight because it was the last night out of the trip why are they all crying why are they all crying what happened i don't understand everything should have been fine you had a great trip i've done one of these things in uh, slovenia once the night before i stayed up the entire night to catch that flight uh, i was like emily you fall asleep 10 minutes i'll be awake and we're just gonna have to go right there everything was fine we fell asleep on the plane it was the best and there was nothing wrong here it sounds like these uh, maybe it's because Never mind, we're gonna keep it going. One, two, skip these three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So. Wait, but she skipped three. Nah, 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 nah. You skipped the. You didn't. Wait, what? One, two, skip three, four, five, six, seven eight a few moments later well i was recording and then everything just froze so 
I apologize. Now we're back at it again. Still going through the For You page. Uh, we're just going to do a few more and end it all. Isn't it weird how we're all using our phones 24-7, yet we never see or use them when we're dreaming? Even other technology like laptops, you just don't see them. Some people speculate that this proves that we are actually living in a simulation. Because something is not wanting you to see something on your unconscious level. Wait, what? Because you don't see phones in your dreams, this is where you- Is this AI Elon Musk? This feels like AI Elon Musk. Hey, we're just trying to do for you, Paige. Stop it with the explore the weird. <laughs> I asked my wife what she wanted for a snack. Smoked cream cheese. Happy wife, happy life. I've got two blocks here. One of the good stuff, one of the not so good stuff. Don't tell me there's not a difference, because there is. Block number one. Block number two. I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna score both blocks of cream cheese die like so. This is gonna allow that smoke to penetrate deep. That's what she said into the cream cheese. I'm gonna hit both of these with Right Way Barbecue Ultimate Pork Rub. This is one of my favorite seasonings. There, that boy there. Smoker set to 225 degrees. These are going on right now. Yeah. So here's what I do. I always leave one plain for Brianna. She can add some jelly to it if she wants to, but I like to add some truff hot sauce. White truff hot sauce is my favorite hot sauce. Just a little bit. Tell me right now that doesn't look absolutely phenomenal. I asked my wife what she- I've never had smoked cream cheese, but it, I mean, at that point, just start eating blocks of cream cheese. I mean, <laughs> I guess he seasoned it. I mean, that that's a plus right there. He seasoned it. Oh, boy. It's like crab rangoons all over again. I'm like, where's the crab? All I see is the cream cheese. <laughs> Still tastes good, though. Still goes down easy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It looks good, though. I am sure this is uh, good for his uh, wife. I'm glad he's cooking for the family here. <laughs> You don't have any friends. Nobody likes you. Not listening. I'm not listening. Um. <laughs> hey, I, hey, everyone loves you. Everything's fine. We're gonna find the precious. We are. You already found me. How you feeling? Am I? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I see you. I, I saw everything that happened there. There was nothing. It, yeah, that was magical. That solar blanket. Oh, man. It made so many things disappear. They walked into different dimensions. Can't you tell? My husband cracked the damn code on me. He got home from overtime yesterday, and he was like, I'm starving. I'm going to order Mexican food. What do you want? And I was like, I just ate with the baby. I'm not hungry. I don't need anything. And he looked at me, and he went like, what do you want? And I was like, no, like, I'm good, babe. I'm, I promise I'm good. I'm fine. I said, I'm fine. 20 minutes later, DoorDash shows up, and um, his food, of course, smells delicious, and the regret sits in in my soul, and I don't say a thing because... I, I made my bed, I need to lie in it, all right? We're not gonna, I don't want to hear that I told you so. This is how I know I have a soulmate. Because the first thing he pulls out of that bag was a burrito, not for him, for me. He said, here, because I was holding the baby, he's all, here's mom's burrito, because I know what I'm fine means. It means I'm going to be hungry when my food gets here. And no, I'm okay means just a bean and cheese burrito. It just, it always means a bean and cheese burrito. And... He's not wrong, okay? It does always mean I want to be in the cheese burrito. My husband. Wow, this girl is um doing the things. She's taking care of the children and the husband's taking care of her. And I love to see that. I love to see that. I wish I, I uh, could uh, share stories like this. But unfortunately, I'm not in a position where I have uh, people that cook. I, I'm pretty much uh, always ordering out. I'm always like eating out. I, I wish I had this type of... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm I'm very happy with this uh, uh, exchange. It does feel like it's a. Uh, I mean, I feel like all girls say they're not hungry when they really are hungry. So even my wife does that, and I'm, I'm always ordering DoorDash for her. But it's not like a emotional thing like this. Even if she says no, I still get her stuff. But she ain't gonna go make a video about it or anything. I wish I wish there was better things. But she's taking care of the child, so. 
I guess DoorDash is going to be my life for the rest of the time till she starts or till I start cooking. But I don't even have the time. I don't even have the time. That's the issue. Neither of us have the time. This turned into something else. I'm sorry. We're going to keep it going. Move to reliable. 100. Why is he around? So Yo, this was good. I like this guy's dancing. That was uh, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, yeah, the good uh, chord progression there. All right, let's keep it going. So I get this question asked a lot. How do inmates find out the charges of us? I'm sad you guys don't have any rose gold, but pink was still. So your total comes to $181.86, not including a tip. How do you want to pay? I thought... That was all taken care of? I'm afraid not. Okay, I don't have any money with me. <laughs> Why didn't you bring any money? Well, you shouldn't just assume that it's all taken care of. You're right. I, uh... I'm sorry, honey, but you're gonna have to sit this one out if you don't have a way to pay. Is it okay if I call my dad? That's fine. We'll just have you sit in the waiting area in the meantime, okay? Looks like the blend worked. Good thinking. Do you think her dad will want to pay for her? Almost 200 bucks? No way. He's an assistant. They barely make any money anyway. Hey, Dad. I'm saying it's not paid for. I don't know. Can you pay for it? It's two hundred dollars. That's okay. I don't need anything done. I'm gonna be fine anyway. I'll see you in a couple of hours. Oh my god, what is this emotional stuff? Oh my god, I feel like the situation may have not happened i feel like this is scripted but a but regardless it is very emotionally uh jarring you know pulls at the heartstrings all that um yeah who the hell is going to uh kids and asking them to pay money and tips like that just don't make sense it's like hey you don't have the money like come on you didn't figure that out before she sat in the chair something else going on here and i don't like it but it's like hey the life lesson here is don't be bad do good things uh, come on now you have that many friends, not one of them could have told you that you had to pay before you sat down. All right, let's uh, keep it going. I'm going to a reunion party today, and I know that people are going to be drinking. And because I'm sober, I didn't want to miss out on the fun. So I'm going to show you guys what drink rotation I'm doing for tonight. So if I go to like an apartment party kickback type situation where I know it's just going to be pure alcohol, I like to bring my own drink that I can drink with other people. So that's exactly what I've done today. And then I always do a specific pregame drink, which I'm going to show as well. But today I have three different scenarios that I need drinks for, I think. So basically getting ready, we need the getting ready pregame drink, but then also I'm going to a friend's apartment before we go to pregame with her and she said she's having wine. So I had a specific drink for that. And then once I actually get there, people are gonna be drinking. So I have another drink for that. These are definitely not like healthy options. I'm just, I wanna have fun, you know? Like I wanna have fun, I wanna have a fun drink and that's exactly what I'm doing here. Okay, if you know me, you know that I always get ready with green tea. I know that sounds odd, but I've just been doing it every single time I've gone out and here she is. I'm gonna have my first sip on camera. So good. Okay, then for the pregame at my friend's apartment, I was thinking, I got this from Whole Foods. It's a matcha lemonade. I think I'm gonna bring this, but I'm not completely sure just because I have a lot of options for drinks. Um, so maybe we'll see but i think i'll bring this with me and then for the actual party itself i am bringing a poppy raspberry rose this is my favorite poppy flavor and i usually will bring kind of like a soda situation i only drink health sodas but health soda situation when i go to an actual like kickback apartment party 
type thing. And then I decided to make it a little fun today and I ended up getting health shots just in case because I feel like people are going to be doing shots and I thought let me bring it along so that I can at least take like one shot with someone while I am there. So I got these health shots. These are all from Whole Foods and yeah, I think it's going to be a fun night. Clearly, I don't think I'm going to be able to drink everything, which is why I'm debating whether I should even bring this along with me. Um, but you know what? I'm down for a good time and this feels like a good time for me. I know that's not a lot of people's definition of a good time, but it's definitely my definition of a good time. Anyways, cheers to a night out and cheers to having these fun drinks to enjoy tonight. I'm going to a re- Wow. Um, sounds like, hey, sobriety needs to be uh, showcased on the TikToks. And now you know that, hey, if you want to stay sober, you can have all these other things. You know, back in my day, all people had was water and it was cool. It's like, yeah, I'm the DD, designated driver. I'm going to keep drinking my water. We respected that. What kind of BS is this? Oh, you need to have a special type of drink for everything. And what's with this thing? Why she kept doing this thing? What? what I don't understand TikTok anymore. I'm, I'm glad she's sober. I'm all about sobriety, whatnot. Um, I make alcohol. I don't drink my own alcohol, but I do give it to my friends as like, dude, this is bartering system. You want some cider? You want some beer? Whatever you want. I can make it. I got all the ingredients and I'd rather you have it the natural way rather than these over manufactured stuff. But I'm telling you, my stuff's not consistent because it's homebrew, um, but it's always fun to drink. Rick, wait, this turned into something else. I don't, we're gonna keep it going. Reunion party today, and I. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Was it good? Hmm? Was it good? Really good. good. Really, really good. good. Did I give you enough? Did I give you enough orange chicken? Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Thank you. Good. What are you doing? <laughs> mm, I don't really have enough sesame chicken, so I wanted to take a bite of yours. I, you barely even gave yourself any food. Well, we don't really have a lot, and I know you were hungry, so I wanted to give you that majority. I obviously have a good amount. We can share a little bit. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I just wanted this. I just wanted like one more bite. Do you want some no, more? No, 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 I just wanted this. You sure? Yeah, no, 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 it's totally fine. All right. I wanted you to have it. Well, next time, stay away from my food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we'll be changing mind. Let me know. Thank you. Yo, is this, is every, everyone does this? Oh, I'm on a diet. I'm like, okay, I'll order you the salad. Got you the salad. Ends up eating my food anyway. I'm like, wait a second, you asked for this. <laughs> Uh, she dishes out both plates and then ends up taking the other guy's plate. I'm like, you you proportioned yourself to this. But I guess it's part of the TikTok, seeing what his reaction is. Uh, the reaction was exactly what I want. Stay away from my food. I'm eating here. You gave me this proportion. I'm going to make sure I clean the plate. I finish it up. It has nothing to do with me neglecting you. I just assumed this is how much I was supposed to eat. <laughs> oh, boy. Every time I get those takeout containers, you go till the end. You go till there's nothing left. No leftovers. You know you ain't gonna eat those leftovers. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do like uh, two more. That's it. If you get locked in the back of the Tesla Cyber Four, two. Uh, see me turn into a giant woman. I. Don't even understand what's going on here. Giving your leftover drinks to the heavyweight of the group. What is with people? What is with the drinks and women? What is going on here? Just drink the water. Just drink the water. Stick with your own drinks. Don't stop sharing. <laughs> All right. Uh, just one more. Just one more. Before therapy, I was. I used to be a Starbucks barista, and I am telling you now, you should never.
right? None of these seemed fun. It sounds like his life's going horrible. All these <laughs> images seem sad, like barely there. I'm, I'm almost here with 100% and I never take off is basically what I'm getting. I'm, I'm almost there to 100, but nah, it's not quite there. Um, Okay, I hope everyone else's life is going well. You are a goon. You made it to the end. This was quite a lot to take in. I normally don't do this type of content. This is very irregular. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to keep dishing out content. That is basically every day I'm trying to get you guys stuff. If you are appreciating this, uh, you want to come support the channel, become a member. Members getting videos days early. One day early, you were getting uh, uh, inside scoop before anyone else. So definitely consider becoming a member if you made it to the end. If you made it to the end, let me know. Annabelle. Annabelle. It's creepy. It's creepy. It's haunted. No, it's not haunted. It's just a movie prop. You calm down. The real raggedy, uh, uh, sorry, the real Annabelle doll is a raggedy Ann doll, which is the haunted one that they have in Monroe, Connecticut. This is the movie prop. Not haunted. You stop it. You stop it. All right. Yeah. Annabelle. However you spell it. Literally. You could even write any bell. Any bell? Bells. Wait, wait. We're done. We're done. Goodbye. Stay safe. Stay strong. Goodbye. Wait, videos on your screen right now. Go watch more goon videos. Get your goon fix in. Why aren't you doing that? Come on now. Support the channel. The one in the middle you can subscribe. Now goodbye.